figure it out for yourself, my lad. You've all that the greatest of men have had. Two arms, two hands, two legs, two eyes, and a brain to use, if you would be wise. With this equipment, they all began. So start for the top and say, I can. Look them over, the wise and great. They take their food from a common plate and similar knives and forks they use. With similar laces, they tie their shoes. The world considers them brave and smart. But you've all they had when they made their start. You can triumph and come to skill. You can be great if only you will. You are well equipped for what fight you choose. You have legs and arms and a brain to use. And the man who has risen, great deeds to do, began his life with no more than you. You are the handicap you must face. You are the one who must choose your place. You must say where you want to go, how much you will study the truth to know. God has equipped you for life, but He lets you decide what you want to be. Courage must come from the soul within. The man must furnish the will to win. So figure it out for yourself, my lad. You were born with all that the great have had. With your equipment, they all began. Get hold of yourself and say, I can. Is anybody happier because you passed his way? Does anyone remember that you spoke to him today? This day is almost over and its toiling time is through. Is there anyone to utter now a kindly word of you? Did you give a cheerful greeting to the friend who came along? or a churlish sort of howdy and then vanish in the throng? Were you selfish pure and simple as you rushed along the way? Or is someone mighty grateful for a deed you did today? Can you say tonight in parting with the day that's slipping fast that you helped a single brother of the many that you passed. Is a single heart rejoicing over what you did or said? Does a man whose hopes were fading now with courage look ahead? Did you waste the day or lose it? Was it well or solely spent? Did you leave a trail of kindness or a scar of discontent as you close your eyes in slumber? Do you think that God would say, You have earned one more tomorrow by the work you did today? Home is the place where the laughter should ring and man should be found 
at his best. Let the cares of the day be as great as they may. The night has been fashioned for rest. So leave at the door when the toiling is o'er. All the burdens of work time behind. And just be a dad to your girl or your lad. A dad of the rollicking kind. The office is made for the task you must face. It is built for the work you must do. You may sit there and sigh as your cares pile up high and no one may criticize you. You may worry and fret as you think of your debt. You may grumble when plants go astray but when it comes night and you shut your desk tight don't carry the burdens away. Keep daytime for toil and the night time for play. Work as hard as you choose in the town but when the day ends and the darkness descends just forget that you're wearing a frown. Go home with a smile or oh, you will find it worthwhile. Go home light of heart and of mind. Go home and be glad that you are loved as a dad, a dad of the fun-loving kind. <laughs>